Dyke looking like a little low, you know, little, little nice looking John looking boy. Oh, the fuck? Hell no. I actually have a do rag, but my boyfriend have it. Beside the bonnet, I would have killed the dyke look like right away. So, today's video is gonna be me transforming and doing a little get ready with me or whatever. So, for further ado, let's get into this video. Um, before I start, um, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I upload very consistently. So, I'm gonna start out by using foundation. Oh, I need a primer. What the fuck? Oh, she ain't got no booty. Starting out using, um, this it's called Mario Badizica skincare facial spray with uh, aloe, chamoli, and lavender. You can get this from Sephora or Macy's. I'm gonna spray that all over. Really massage it into your skin. Now it's time my face looking mad oily. Now it's time for um foundation i'm gonna be using naked skin foundation and i'm gonna be using a foundation brush this is an elf foundation brush and just applying that as you can see that skin spray stuff make my face like extra glowy extra bright looking and i love it i always apply before i go to bed and you know um after, before i go to bed and before i do my makeup It really gives that skin-like effect, so you won't have that foundation effect. You know how it can tell you, like it can somebody can tell you have foundation on. This can really make your face nice and glowy. For concealer, I'm going to use using a lip pro concealer, and this is in the color Warm Honey. Dot 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 dot. I like putting dots now because when you do that triangle mess, it's just like hell to no, too much work. So I just dot it on. I dot it on my eyes. Now I like, see what happens to my beauty blender? I had a beauty blender, beauty, beauty blender, and I lost it. I should have never got a black beauty blender because if that shit drops somewhere, it's going to be hard to find. Like, I have, it's just going to be hard to find. I should have got like a pink one, but. I'm going to be buffing out the same brush I use for my foundation. And I like to apply it out kind of like all over to give me more of a highlight and down the neck because you don't want a nice perfect face and it's not blending down your neck. You know, you got to get down your neck, honey. Ladies, I forgot I have a like really big forehead because I forgot to tell you I'm a breast doll. So, ooh, when I'm wearing my real and the setting powder I use is the Revolution Luxury Banana. Yeah, oh, uh, the Lux the Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the color I don't know, orange. I don't, and I just put it on like this. Not all over down my neck too. You can cover the forehead right now. Cover her, cause you know we gonna see her later. Now I'm just gonna be outlining under my brow, like so. So now the brows are done. Now I'm gonna be using some concealer to like sharpen things up. And then 
I like to go on top of the brow also, just to make it look extra sharp, extra clean, extra nice. I used to wear my eyebrows like super, super thick because I thought that was like the style. And you know, because I go on YouTube, people they do they, the Instagram brows, you know, with the, the squares, the squares right here that be this big and you know, an arch and extra thick, extra thick eyebrows. Like your eyebrows is on 25 font. I like to take my finger and just blend everything else. I used to make this mistake and I didn't know it was a mistake, but in middle school, high school, no, not high school, oh no, baby. In middle school, I used to have my eyebrows tail all the way down here, like literally almost touching my freaking ear. Like, it was just so bad. But I didn't know, like, I thought that's how eyebrows supposed to be, like, when I could have just, you know, just took a little half off. But I definitely know that now, like, oh my God. When I look back, I'm like, dang. Maybe no wonder people was looking at me all crazy, but I didn't care, you know. You learn as you go. You can't always be perfect the first try. I like my eyebrows to be highlighted, so this is a, oh, I forgot to show you. This is an e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. They have, like, bronze colors, kind of dirty. But, um, yeah, I use this color for my eyebrows, the darkest one. And now I'm going to be using, like, this, um, shimmery light color. And I'm going to put that right on top right in like you know the arch of the brow and just blend that in with my finger before i do anything else i feel like my face is getting dry it's getting casket ready and i'm like no honey so i'm gonna be using the mix setting spray this is a dewy finish one you don't always have to use the setting spray oh i think i'm getting in my mouth you don't always have to use a setting spray when you're done, honey. Use it along the way, okay? So, yeah, my face is all dewy and whatever. Now, I'm going to be using these lashes. Now, I got these lashes from the resupply store. Uh, honey, here's the tea. It claims that it's reusable up to 25 times. I don't know about no lashes being that reusable, but let's see. So, um, here it is. It's called V-Lux Real 3D Mink Lashes. Real. Okay, no wonder it's $15. It's not the false, not the false minks. This the real one. So of course the lash comes really long and I'm gonna go get some scissors. I'm back. I'm to cut off like a little tail. I like a little a little piece like that. It's weaving glue. And pros about weaving glue, it stays on for a long time. And you don't have to really wait that long to put the lash on. Okay? So, yeah, a con is it might it will ruin the lashes if you don't apply it directly to the band. So, if the glue gets on one of the lash hairs, it will mess up. So now it's time for the hair. I just um, put all of my hair like this. I love me a little Chinese bang. Oh, who my other earring got? This is how girls wore their hair in their 1980s. Like, ooh, ooh, I'm searching for a real love. Hey, someone break my heart. Real, real love. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Oh, oh. Then some heat protector serum. Comb it out because I don't want to comb, you know, all the volume out as yet. Comb it out, you know, do a little something like that, and then you know, the bang I can just comb down and just.
So this is the finishing look of my hair. Now, um, I don't know, for some reason, I don't have my usual edge control, so my baby hair is then laid down um, like how I usually lay down. Yeah, so now it's time for the outfit, darling, and <laughs> let's just get to it. You know, we got our boobies out or whatever. The toy to get pink shorts, love pink shorts with it. Then, you know, just something simple. Um, yeah, just something simple. I'm really not doing that today. It's I got Jerry's wigs. I have back to school cells right now, so don't sleep with my hairline, girl, because you already know. Thank you guys so much, so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Oh, that I didn't watch her last video. Did you hear me? Bye -bye.